In North Orange County, we take education seriously as we have the largest Cal State in the system with over 40,000 students. In addition, the oldest uh, community college, Fullerton College. We're very proud about the uh, services and education we offer, but sadly, as we know, affordability is now not part of the vision that some students can see for themselves. In the 80s, I attended not only Fullerton Community College, but UCLA and came out with very little debt. Like was said before, my own children have not experienced that. I have four millennials and college costs ha have exceeded uh, what they feel that they can pay themselves. So we are losing that vision. We know that now more and more students are having the conversation is can and should they attend college? And yet we know there are still many professions, whether it be a doctor, to be an educator, to be a lawyer, that you still need that college degree. So as we look at the times and we look at affordability, we also know that there's students that are not only struggling to pay for their college, but for housing and for food. A recent study say, told, tells us that we have many, many students that are actually homeless, and some campuses are even providing food banks. This is a serious crisis, and we need to do more. We need more degrees and less debt. My name is Monique Graham. I'm a full-time student at Sac State, taking 18 units and working 30 hours a week in Del Paso Heights. I'm six classes away from achieving my dream of graduating college. As I stand here today, I owe $40,000 in student loan debt. I'm proud to stand aside assembly members who are gonna fight for the middle class scholarship, but in reality, it isn't enough. Last year, I qualified for the middle class scholarship. I received $544. That only covered my books. I still struggled with the cost of living and tuition. I would love to tell you that I'm excited about my future, but as of today, I can't tell you what my next step is. My mom asks me every day, Monique, what's next? Are you going to grad school? I would love to continue my education, earning both a master's and a doctorate degree. The state can't afford to have students like me facing a future of debt instead of their dreams. I'm calling on our, our elected leaders to make debt-free college a priority, to stand in solidarity with us so that every college student has the opportunity to achieve their dreams and aspirations. Growing up in a single low-income uh, low home with my two younger sisters, there was no shortage, shortage of determination and love in our house, but there was a shortage of stability. Not knowing where our next meal would come from, not knowing if we'd be able to pay our bills, and not knowing if I'd be able to afford a college education, our financial uh, situation always dominated the dinner conversation. When I received the blue and gold grant to attend UC Davis, I was elated. A large part of my financial woes were alleviated, or so it seemed. But in my year and a half on this campus, this has clearly not been the case. In addition to working as a school senator and legislative director for under $100 of stipends a week, I also work over 10 hours for my work study and minimum wage job just to make ends meet. And the truth is, I could make more. I could make more and worry less if I gave up my work in student advocacy and I took fewer classes per quarter. But I am here today because I believe in higher education and the power of the student voice. I believe that students have the right to access affordable housing. I believe that students have the right to food security. I believe that students have the right to access proper mental health resources. And, I, and above all else, I believe that students have the right to public education. Without college debt replacement scholarship, students like me who want to contribute to our university and become a voice for other students in need will be turned away from our public education system. They will be stuck working minimum wage jobs because unpaid internships will never be a stepping stone that they can access. Without these programs, they may never even get a chance to attend the UC system, despite being more than capable. So as I sit on the higher ed committee, I am going to do everything I can to keep the California promise and the California dream alive, which is investing more in education and letting our students know that there is a bright future ahead.